Well, if there is a team to beat when they tip off at the boys' basketball playoffs next week, it's Lake Oswego. They're tough, man. Mm -hmm. The Lakers are cruising along, ranked number one in the state. And as Dan Christopherson shows us, our athlete of the week is a driving force. Lake Oswego Senior Night brought the crowd to its feet. And Calvin Hermanson called it. I think all the parents will be a little emotional. I know my mom probably will. It brought his mom to tears. It was um, wonderful. Um, it was such a great group of seniors. Led by her son, the reigning Oregon 6A Player of the Year, who might just do it again, as the Lakers have matched his number, a perfect 24-0, with eyes on the state's top prize. I mean, we've talked about it as priority number one since the beginning of the season. I mean, I've been waiting for this season since last March when we lost it. Consecutive year. That image, Jesuits celebrating at their expense, is what drives an LO team with 11 seniors to get it right this time. Hermanson scored a full ride to St. Mary's College, but won't even go there till his time runs out in the home of the Lakers. To reach that's been great, and you know, playing with these guys has been. Just even more fun just to be with my friends that are also play at a high level. He's just always doing the little things and uh, doing everything as hard as if you were the 10th guy on the team coming off the bench. But Calvin's front and center. Last week named the Boys Basketball Player of the Year at the Oregon Sports Awards. But the trophy he wants, the one they're shooting for, has 13 state champs written all over it. And you know mom would shed a few more tears over that. In Lake Oswego, Dan Christopherson, Quinn Local 6.